Tonight, increasing vigilance of a mystery illness popping up in dogs. Fox 5 checked around the DMV, found right now it is not believed to be in our area. That is good news. But that said, experts say they are watching this very closely. David Kaplan live at a daycare and grooming business in Bethesda. This is scary, David. You know, it really is. And I think it's safe to say, based on all the conversations I had today, that this is all still very much on the public consciousness, canine influenza. Now, this mystery illness, as you touched on, not here, but it's definitely something here at Bonjour in Bethesda that they're still got top of mind here. This is a sign they put up last year talking about canine influenza, the many steps they're doing here to try and keep dogs safe and telling owners that their dogs are required to have certain vaccinations in order to be able to be here. Becky Pugh said she didn't have any cases of canine influenza last year, but she is certainly monitoring everything with dog health closely in an effort to keep dogs as safe as possible and owners informed. Whether it's kennel cough or anything else, you have to have vaccines in order to come. Um, be conscious of your pets you know, health when you bring them here. Um, and that's about all we can do. Bonjour disinfects regularly, takes other actions to try and keep dogs from sharing water bowls or toys if something is going around. Bonjour's owners tell me, fortunately, again, they have not dealt with a major outbreak here, but they are keenly aware of the risks of what's out there. And veterinarian Dr. Eric Cryan emphasized with me earlier today that dog owners should be keenly aware as well, especially this time of year. As veterinarians, we worry about these emerging uh, respiratory viruses, especially this time of year, uh, when the outside temperature starts to get more like a refrigerator. Some of these viruses can last longer and more likely to spread at dog parks, uh, boarding facilities, uh, things like that. And that also coincides with uh, everyone coming together for the holidays and mixing from different locations, which uh, you know contribute to spreads of uh, many respiratory viruses. And Okay, so just to reiterate this one more time, I checked in with five municipalities that make up a very large percentage of the DMV, Prince William County, Fairfax County, Arlington County, DC, Montgomery County, all of them tell me they have not seen any instances of this mystery illness. That said, they all told me that they have seen some instances of canine respiratory illnesses already, so certainly something for you at home to keep in mind, especially if you're a pet owner.